sorry I can't help you. But you must have a cargo plane that's going that way. That is true, Mr. Uh, I didn't get you. I've got to be there as quickly as possible. I'm afraid the only way for you to get there, Mr. Smith, is to purchase a ticket. I haven't any money. I lost it. Then ask your embassy for help. I'm afraid we can do nothing for you. Wait outside. My name is Seymour. Daniel Seymour. He lost my bag. Ah, Mr. Seymour. So unfortunate. Uh, we're sorry if we inconvenienced you. Well, I'm sure you are. Look, I'm uh, leaving here this afternoon. I'd like to have some luggage. So soon, just one day with us. Just one day. Well, Mr. Seymour, we found your luggage. Congratulations. Where, here. halfway around the world? It was here in Karachi all the time. Really? It was in the customs office. A mistake. You know, the human element. We're very sorry, but you can have your bag at any time. Customs, huh? No wonder I got the VIP treatment. I suppose they broke the locks trying to get it open. According to my information, your suitcase is in first class shape. Good. See if you can have it waiting for me at the airport. Huh? Follow me to my hotel, room 217. Don't phone, don't ask questions now. I uh, heard you ask for a job at the ticket office. Where do you want to go? West. I can get you as far as Rome. Yeah? How? Carry something for me. What's your name? Joe Scott. Got a passport, Joe? No, I lost it. Just an ID card. How'd you get this far? Walking. What am I to carry? Drugs? Nope. No drugs. Your ID is no good. You'll have to have a passport. I'll get you one. Just like that? OK, what am I supposed to carry? The best. A little heavy, but not conspicuous. Take off your jacket. When do we leave? This afternoon. Try that on for size. Damn, that's heavy. Well, feathers are heavy if you got enough of them. 200 rare coins in that thing. What makes you think you can trust me? I don't. I'll be on the same plane with you. We don't know each other, remember that. How do you know I'll show up at the airport? And if I do, what's in it for me? It's a free ride. You show up. I give you the vest in the men's room at the airport, plus your ticket and passport. Just so you don't get any ideas, a man named Vittorio is going to meet the plane. He'll have your complete description. Now, for any reason, I'm not on that plane, but you don't try running. On delivery, you get $500. OK. Do I keep the passport? Maybe. Also, we got to get you another jacket. Maybe you could use me steady. I'm not in such a hurry to get back to Broadway. Could be. We'll talk about it.
Shall we talk about a job? Joe's looking for steady work. Can we use him? For the time being, there is nothing to do. Something's going over to Switzerland by car next week. He can start with that. We don't deal always in gold. Other things bring a nice profit. When I get the bankroll up to $5,000, I'm off to Canada. Yeah, I said the same thing a couple of years ago, but I'm still here. Joe, just so there's no misunderstanding, you're working as my assistant, huh? Everything goes through me. Anything you say. Where do I live? Any ideas? Yeah, I check into a hotel for a couple of days. We look for an apartment. And uh, since you're working, you can take me to dinner, OK? Mr. Person, may I have your passport? What? But, but you told me that I... It's OK. He gets you a new one for every job. But I have to have some sort of identification. Tomorrow, I'll have a letter from your employer. American Newspaper Company. Also a card testifying you are a reporter. Come on, Joe. I'll drop you to a hotel. I like to shower before I eat. Better take that and buy some new clothes. You stink. I'll pick you up about nine. Where? Your hotel, dum-dum. It's one of our meeting places. Also, uh, if you ever need me, Luigi knows where to find me. But uh, don't tell him too much. You don't give me much credit, do you? No. Oh, Maria. Hi. Teresa here? Yes, yeah, she's inside. Be charming. Thank you. Hey, Miss. Where have you been? Where have I been? I've been here every night. Good, then I'll buy you a drink. You know I'm not allowed to drink or sit with customers. This is a very serious place. I'd like you to meet my friend, Joe Pearson. Hello, Joe. Hi. Joe thinks he'll stick around for a while. Do you think you can help find an apartment? Well, there is one in my building if... Great. Listen, why don't we lunch tomorrow and then I can see the apartment? some culture. You going to the opera, Joe? Could be. You know, I've looked all over Rome for you. Of course, uh, it never dawned on me to go to the opera house. Why? What's happening? Tomorrow night, we take a load of cigarettes to Algiers. Count me out, Dan. Something else to do. Really? Yes, it's a personal matter. Ah. Joe? How'd you like to wake up some morning smack in the middle of Broadway? In bed, in the middle of Broadway. Okay, you're a comic. You must be a mind reader. I've been thinking a lot about it lately. Oh, I'd give anything to get back. Anything but turn yourself in. Look, mister, just because you're on the run doesn't mean I am. You don't know anything about me except how to make love to my girl. Why don't you go back? Sure, I could swim. It takes money, Joe. Uh, speaking about money, how's the bankroll? You got any loose cash? This any use to you? You can have it back next week. Don't worry about it. There's no hurry. Well, you sneaky, well-dressed little bastard. You're holding out on me. Think so? 
I've got to go. He has something worth a lot of money, and he doesn't know it. What? An emerald cut diamond worth $50,000. But it looks worthless, covered up with a thin coat of paste. <laughs> Very cleverly done. Suppose they get caught. Why not tell them how much it's worth before he loses the damn thing? And then? We share the proceeds. How do you know he would? Besides, I don't share with anyone unless I have to. You are just lucky I couldn't keep an eye on him myself. And if I tell him? i rather you did not. I don't like violence, Dan. But I have friends who don't mind. <sighs> now about Joe. He's trying to get this girl over to England? I think so. He hasn't said anything to me, but he talked to a tourist agent. He wanted a list of freighters. He must sell the ring. Exactly. So let's grab it before we're cut out. No, no, no. The right approach. And certainly not force. I am sure they're anxious. And I trust a little careless. You owe him money? About $50. Well, now you can pay him back. You should be quite a convincing actor. So, we'll give you the role of the true friend. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Don. No. Yeah, you worked all night and washed dishes too, huh? What's your order for dinner? I don't know if he'll be back. I haven't for the past week. Well, you picked your roommate. Come to meet me in the morning, will you? You better leave him a note. I'm going to work soon. Okay. Got a piece of paper? Yeah. Dan? Yeah? There is somebody else, isn't there? I don't get you. I think you do. There you go. You didn't answer me. Joe is a big boy. If he wants to jump ship, you should give better service. Hmm? 
Goodbye. I ordered you a drink. I got your note. Buddy boy, you are in trouble. Trouble? Need to raise it. You're gonna lose her if you're not careful, huh? She thinks you have someone else. Is that what you wanted to see me about? No. No, I wanted to apologize. Also, I'm paying my debts. Thanks for the loan. You see you got your watch out of pocket. Yeah, and believe it or not, I am going home. I got lucky in a poker game. Real lucky by the looks of it. Not really even enough to get me out of here. This cost a bundle. Oh, this guy's not greedy. Skipper? Yeah, British. What's not greedy? $250. Naples, London, Toronto, and Niner. The border into the States. Why so cheap? I told you, he's a nice guy. He's uh, done this before. Three times that I know of. What would he charge for a trip to London? What the hell do you want to go to London for? I don't. Someone else does. Uh -huh. So Teresa is right, huh? A friend of mine. Trouble so far has been the price. When do you sail? Tomorrow at dawn. What's uh, all the interest in someone else, Chuck? I'm in a spot, Dan. Let's leave it at that. Do you think he would take on another passenger? I don't see why not. Can't be for more than $150. Sounds okay. Where are you going to be later? Anywhere. Okay, I'll try to fix it. Be at your apartment, say, 5 to 5.30, I'll call you. I'll be there. Thanks. My pleasure. You don't know how to use that thing, Miss Krushinska. I told you I was sent by Joe to give you some instructions. I don't understand. You're on your way to England. Boat leaves early tomorrow morning. But where's Joe? He's with the captain of the ship. You're to give me a ring with a green stone. That one, I guess. What for? You'll see a man wearing it at the boat. He'll get you on board. A woman ring? Don't waste time, Miss Krushinska. What do I do now? Wait for Joe. She won't have long to wait, will she? I heard most of that dialogue. I think we better have a little talk, Dan. Now do some explaining, Dan. You've been following me around, haven't you? You overacted, Dan, trying to convince Therese you didn't know whether I was in or not. Never question anyone like you did the concierge. They talk. How long have you been following me around? How long? Since you lend me the money? I know a lot, Joe. More than you do, in fact. Give me the ring. And start talking. Okay. After you agree to cut me in. Why? It's only fair. I can be a big help to you. 
Like that phony ship captain of yours? <clears throat> He's no phony. He's very real. Only we weren't going to be on the ship. Come on, Dan, what's it all about? What part does this play? A big one. That's worth $50,000 to Vittorio. I'm cutting you bastards in because I need ready cash, and I know you've got it. You can have this ring for $40,000. That leaves you an easy 10 grand to carve up between. You're asking too much, Joe. Then I'll go elsewhere. Can you? With what we know? Take what I choose to give you. What else can you do? Fill you full of lead. You look scared. You're up against violence, something you've always managed to avoid. For years, you've been living off guys like me, taking in all we smuggled and, and giving peanuts in return. This is one time it isn't going to work. Now, you've got every kind of currency in there, I know it. Do you want me to take the keys off a dead man and help myself? Uh, uh, I'll give you 30,000. Cash, now! Got the gun, I'll have my cut now. <laughs> 